What is good YouTube? I am Ethan back here with the kitchen sink and this time is a video that is probably the most requested on the channel right now and that is Barcelona versus PSG the 6-1 comeback. I read up a little bit on it to get like the gist of what happened and I know they had to score those last three goals in order to beat PSG because of the uh, something the goal away rule or something like that. I don't know exactly how it all works why they had to beat them six to one But you guys will obviously let me know down in the comments. I can't wait to check this out I'm watching one with commentary. So hopefully it doesn't get blocked by YouTube There is a chance and if it does I'll try to figure something out, but you know, we're gonna check it out Make sure you check out my FIFA channel linked in the description I am terrible at FIFA, but I have a lot of fun being terrible and it seems like a lot of people enjoy watching me be terrible So go ahead and check that out if you want well, let's just go ahead and get into this one Barcelona versus PSG six to one all the goals and commentary rather than music Finally commentary rather than music man But they know the players know that they need the fans and the fans vice versa know that they need to give them some energy and belief to get a result Okay, well as the teams now take to the pitch of the camp now, let's listen in to that crowd Oh, I didn't even see that across the line, obviously, did though. Listen to that the crowd. crowd. Feel it. The players can feel it. PSG have dropped back very early in the game. The ball was bouncing around in the box. And it's Suarez that gets the final touch. Not offside. Ball goes over the line. Suarez knew it. What a start for Barcelona. Hassled, harried, dispossessed. It's with Neymar. Suarez is in the box. Lionel Messi is there too as uh, Neymar claims a handball as he tried to flick the ball in towards Messi. And away comes in for his first uh, Champions League appearance of the season for the first leg. Header away by Thiago Silva. The shot in his but here's the danger now as uh, Julian Draxler has his first touch of the ball in the whole match. And he's claiming a handball there off uh, Mascherano. Well, there's more of a case for this one than there was up the other end because Mascherano goes to ground and Julian Drax is trying to cut the ball back here. Again, I don't think there's too much he can do about it, but... ...weren't they by that early goal from Barcelona and that start, but as you say, Stuart, they look as if they're settling a little bit, but here comes Messi and he'll get a free kick there and I think there may well be a card too for Julian Drax. I don't think he is probably very happy right there. <laughs> it's Messi for Barcelona! Track watches it go over the top. Oh, there's a massive ball in the first half, but far more of it via their number 11, Neymar, who sends that one over the top of track and wide of the post. Well, he's going to get a lot of the ball out on that left hand side. There's no left wing back out there for Barcelona, dude. I just don't get how they can kick the ball so hard. Dude. Look one. at how fast that thing is. close it was, and it starts to stay up in support of Neymar here, too. Three to aim at inside the penalty area. Here's Iniesta. It's well worth having a go for Iniesta when it comes out to him. Rakitic. Four ball. Iniesta couldn't get there. Lucas was able to, but Iniesta. So good at picking the lock. And uh, Neymar continues his duel with Thomas Moudier. He just overhit the pass there, Iniesta. Good run. Oh, it was short, it was sloppy, it was poor, and can Barcelona make them pay for it? Suarez. Easy save. Looks like me playing FIFA, bro. Like I said, 
you're interested in FIFA that looks like that, where you shoot shots that are going to get saved no matter what, I'm telling you, subscribe to my channel, man. For real. Suarez, he, he's not happy with that. He took his first time. That's the first time Suarez has scored in the Champions League since match day one. And that 7 0 thumping of Celtic. See, that was just like a tackle, man. I didn't know you could really do that. Neymar racing forward. Verratti and Rakitic, the two players on the ground. What the creator of the forward. Iniesta lets it run, then tries to chase down a Marquinhos. So he's done well, Iniesta. Oh, and it's a second goal. And it really is game on here. Calamitous defending. Did he even hit that in, though? Hold up. So does Iniesta get the credit for that goal, then, if the other team own goals it? Because that definitely hit the other guy. Like, he definitely hit the ball in. Iniesta did not hit that in off his foot. But does he get credit for that goal? I don't understand that, you know? Oh, man, that guy's got to be upset. He's got to be very, very upset with himself. In the first half, forced the ball over the line. 2-0 on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. And PSG's enormous first leg advantage has been cut in half before the break. Well, Kajar is the player that comes off. I'm not sure he knew too much about it. They should defend this ball. Verratti tries to dive in. Marquinhos is trying to let it run out of play. There's the big mistake. And Kajau has a big swing at it. Maybe he could have done better. Goes from his foot onto his knee and back So they erased the half the deficit. So they only needed to win by four at the start of the game. Way off the boot of Busquets. Go kick. Needs to do better than that, Draxler. And the Esther ahead of him. Neymar on the near side. Oh, lovely little flick. Down he goes. And no, the referee's not going to give a penalty there. And Barcelona can't believe it. No penalty there? I mean, well, it didn't. It kind of looked. Here. Just having words now with the assistant behind the goal. Yeah, the additional assistant behind the goal. Oh, he's yes, given a penalty. He now has to give it a penalty kick. It looked a stonewall penalty at the time, but the referee clearly said no. I probably knocked the wind out of you hitting the ground like that, man. Neymar shouldn't have got anywhere near, but Mounier. It's Messi for Barcelona, 3-0. Stunning start to the second half. And oh, it's the second half already. Paris Saint-Germain, they're in big trouble leaning back on the ropes now. And Barcelona, one goal away from forcing extra time. Well, he chose the right way, trap. Yeah. Good play by Mernier, he's away from the... Oh! off the post there and Cavani almost with what would have been a vital away goal first real glimpse of goal so away goals Cavani are worth had, more and he nearly made it okay they keep saying away goal so that is does it, do they count for two or what oh, there's a shirt tag on Messi there by Verratti unseen by the PK marauding forward Matuidi stretching picking out to Real threat, Cavani! That's the goal that PSG was so desperately hoping for. And suddenly, they're feeling a whole lot better about themselves. And four and a half thousand... So, so now Barcelona has to score those, score those extra two goals, huh? Finding Draxler. Is that rule? Into Cavani. Cavani's away from Mascherano. Oh, what a vital save there. Much better play from PSG now. What a run. BK tries to play offside and gets it all wrong, but he should finish it there. To Stegen. Could be uh, Barcelona, really, if they want to go through in this tie. But here they come, and it's out of two round, and it's cleared away. Neymar. Looking for Suarez. And he goes under pressure from Verratti. And gets a yellow. And Suarez didn't even like. The other dude was, he, he was like apologizing, trying to help him up, man, and he just ignored him. Suarez kind of liked that. I, is he the one that bit someone? I remember hearing about this on Sports Center. I used to watch Sports Center every day. Is he the guy that bit someone, right? I, he, the dude was trying to help him up right there. Like, he was trying to pretty much say sorry for doing that, and Suarez just ignored him. He was just staring at the refs, man. That's crazy. The Ratsy getting involved. It's a lovely little ball play to Suarez. 
and this is really what it's all about you sense for them this season Neymar with an untimely save by the uh, goal scorer Cavani but trying to win a free kick might pay for it too Messi still going oh. right across the face of the goal they can't afford to give the ball away in those sort of areas Cavani need to play rather he's claiming he was fouled this literally sounds just like the FIFA commentators man I can't stress that enough the tracking back there by Di Maria. kind of crazy he's actually done well since must be the same guys Maria. very well just got caught there and then just stuck out a left leg he's given the width out on that right hand side and it comes PK's up there and as the ball comes back in just onto the roof of the net the flag has gone up over on the far side PK I think the player the offside and as soon as he challenged the goalkeeper right. lovely little flick there from uh, Cavani finding Di Maria those two have combined really well since Di Maria arrived onto the pitch he's claiming a handball against Gerard Piquet there but it was from point blank range it's down by his side nothing he can do about it comes Marco Verratti yeah, he was, there's nothing he really nothing done to really done about that that was going to his hand no matter what Di Maria he's got some support he goes for goal and they get involved PK's up in the penalty area, up near uh, Suarez and uh, Neymar. Uh, out as far as Neymar. Challenged by uh, Di Maria. Neymar shot a lot this game, hasn't he? Yeah, and concedes the free kick. Now, what's Neymar got up his sleeve here? Oh, he's got something really special up his sleeve. Holy. Great goal. Neymar for Barcelona. 4 1 on the night. That freaking curve on the ball, man. Like, how do people do this? I can't even kick a football straight, let alone curve it like that. Just amazing. Like, just some crazy talent. 4 5 on aggregate. What a free kick. Bends it over the wall with pace, but you have to look at the goalkeeper. He's messy. Neymar makes the run. It's forward towards Suarez. Down he goes inside the penalty area. It is a penalty kick, I think, for Barcelona. And it is going to be a... That was kind of a flop. Neymar against Trap. He scored! Two quick goals for Neymar. Right at the end of the game. It's 5-1 Barcelona. 5-5 on aggregate. Intense pressure now on the Paris Saint Oh, yeah, so they're tied now, right? They're technically tied. It through. It's a stretch, and it's in. And I can't remember the last time I saw something like this. Extraordinary scenes at the new camp. Sergio Roberto, the substitute, is the hero of the hour. And substitute, even. Champions League knockout comeback of all time. Neymar had a pretty a big last 10 Neymar. minutes there, didn't he? I thought he'd made the wrong decision by coming Two goals to his and an assist. PSG started to squeeze up, and it's the substitute, Roberto, that makes the right run. Little look at the watch from the referee. Oh, it was almost the last kick of the game. Simon and Stewart, thank you so much. Mind-boggling scenes at the Camp No as Barcelona pull up the greatest comeback in Champions League history. These are incredible scenes. It did feel like 4-0 should be an insurmountable lead after the first leg from, from PS. I mean, Neymar has every reason to be stunned right there. Two goals and an assist right there in the last 10 minutes. He missed, I would comment on how many shots he was taking at the beginning of the game and missing every single one. I would say that probably makes up for it, you think? But there we have it. That is Barcelona versus PSG, the biggest comeback in Champions League history. Hopefully this video's up, it doesn't get blocked, so hopefully you guys are hearing me talk right now. I don't know if you are or not, but that was, that's crazy. I need you guys to explain that rule to me a little bit better, the away goal rule. Does it essentially count as two goals when you're away? I mean, I guess that would make sense. I don't know the exact rule or anything. Like I said, you guys know that I'm not, I haven't been, uh, watching football for that long so i'm still learning definitely still learning just let me know down in the comments also let me know some more videos you want me to check out 
I'm loving this. Checking out at least two videos a day. I'm trying to on top of going to college. So uh, it's a lot, man. Make sure you check out that FIFA channel. Ton of fun over there. Like I'm telling you, it is a lot of fun. I stream on there some. I'm going to start streaming on there a little bit more. So just check that out. But until next time, guys, peace. Have an awesome day.